All right. Um, now, what we're doing here is not what usually attractive people recommend. And this is because what we're doing is that we are fucking around with the CSS in JavaScript. And this is something that many of us don't like to do. What I prefer to do is separate my concerns. That means I want to work with HTML only in the HTML file, and I want to work with CSS only on my CSS file, and I want to let JavaScript handle the logic. I don't want JavaScript handling the styles of my website. So what we're going to do is that we're going to kill all this thing here, bye-bye. Let's put this here up there. And here we're going to come and say all this Sia. Awesome. And now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a color. Let's go flat QE. This one. All right. So this will be color, one color. Is it the same color? I think it's the same color. I don't care. Is it or is it midnight blue? Let me see. I want to see if it's the same color. I don't know who gives a shit, whatever. And then the other one will be here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to create a class called color. Like this. Whoa, this is not CSS. This is JavaScript. Sorry. Here, color like that. Okay. So I'm going to create two classes H1. No, sorry, not, not two classes, just H1 and then color. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Now this What's going to happen here is that the class is not going to close color It's going to be clicked, clicked. That's the name of the class clicked. And I'm going to save this on a const clicked class. All right, that's it. All right, good stuff. Now let's make a function called handle click. Basically, what I want that to happen is the following thing. So I'm going to refresh here. Let me save this thing. Refresh here. And now title has. This is too small. Title has this color. Sweet. Now I want you to see what happens when I change the class name. Okay. So here in HTML, I'm going to change the class name. And look at the change. Okay, so look at before and after. Before and after. So that's what I want to do. With JavaScript, what I want to do is just fuck around a little bit and just change the class names. So I don't care about colors, I don't care about CSS, I don't care about nothing. Okay. Awesome. So what we have to do is first of all, we need to get the class name, the current class name. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say const current class name. Current class whatever, not important, equals title that class name. And let's console log this thing. Class name, empty. All right, good stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if current class is not equals not equals. This is not equals. What you saw here, it's equals. This not equals. If current class is not equals to click, clicked class, then what do we have to do? This means we have to add it. So I'm going to do its title, class name equals clicked class. Okay. So here on the line number six, what I'm doing is I'm just getting a value. I'm just getting the class name. And here on line number eight, what I'm doing is I'm actually setting a value. Okay. Now look at what happens here. If the current class is not equals to clicked class, then give him that class. But if the current class is equals, that will be else. And we're going to do title that class name equals empty. Nice. We come here, we click, nice, this is clicked over here, as you can see, click, 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 it's working, perfect. And now when we do stuff like this, what you can see is that now we have some power here, and we can say is transition, 
we can say color five seconds is in out for example and now here if we refresh and we click now we can add some nice effects of course we could have some transitions on javascript but it just looks ugly and it's not what the language is for let's just i think my opinion you just use the language for what is best for for css use css for logic use javascript okay so there you go look at that it's working but now here i'm going to give you your first bug your first failure what happens if i actually instead of this i am going to have just uh let's say i have a class name here whatever class name it is for example class um title I don't know. Mm, button button like this okay and here i'm gonna say that everything with the button class has the pointer sorry cursor of pointer there you go pointer so let's refresh and as you can see here the class is button and i can i have a pointer there you see this i have a pointer sweet stuff okay now if i click on it my class pointer goes away you see now class became clicked and it didn't respect the previous class at all so now i don't have pointer anymore even if i click again the pointer class is gone and i don't want that i really do not want that what is happening right now is that all we're doing is like we're being kind of like dictators basically we're just replacing all the class names and we are just making them all disappear we are not just touching one of them okay so here is where we go to mdn again and we're gonna look into i don't know let's see html how would i find this references element references okay let's try to check that one um let's see how would i find this thing let's try to find a div for example html div element is an html element and that means that it has many many properties now the one that i'm interested in is class name let's see class what the fuck class class name class name uh fuck it this is taking too long html element class name that's it there we go this tells you class name gets and sets the value of class attribute and this is what we're doing basically we're doing if element class name equals class name blah 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 but the problem is that we are replacing so maybe what we would want to do is something called class list class list is different in class list you have methods this means that you can use these functions i want you to see these functions they're awesome okay so for example look at this function add and this one remove so instead of just doing this title class name whatever what we can do is we can say if current class equals clicked class then what we're gonna do is title that class list that add all right title that class list that add and we're going to add the class clicked class but now here instead of doing title that class name we're going to say title that class list that remove clicked class and what this will do is that it will help us because we will not remove the button class let's check it out we refresh and now when we click look at what happens it stays there forever it doesn't go back the reason why it doesn't go back is because current class is not clicked anymore current class is btn slash uh, space clicked so we need to change this as well because we cannot check only for one class only what we need to do is use this object called contains 
and this checks if the value exists. Okay, so instead of this, let's do const um, has class. And what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say title that class list that contains, all right, clicked class. And now what this is gonna give us is true or false. If title class list contains clicked, then it's gonna be true. So what I have to do is do if has class and that's it and I'm happy forever. All right, if has class, then add it or remove it. In our case, if it doesn't have class, this is wrong, okay. This is an anti this, okay? So for example, has class will check if the element contains clicked class. What we want to check is if it doesn't contain, okay? So if this is true and we put this bad boy at the beginning, it's gonna say if this is false, okay? Also, we can just do this. That is way more clear. So we're gonna say if he has the class clicked, then remove the class clicked. If he doesn't have the class clicked, then add the class clicked, okay? Good stuff, we save, we come back here, we refresh, and now look, button stays there, and we click, button stays there, and it still works. And it's just respecting the class names, and it's just adding one or removing that one. Good stuff. Now this again is long, and you need to remember that programmers are a little bit lazy. We try to find shortcuts everywhere we go. So what I want you to look at is this, toggle. Toggle is a function that is doing exact, the exact same thing than what we're doing. Here, what we're gonna use, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use toggle. And toggle just encapsulates everything that we did here. That's what toggle is going to encapsulate. So we're gonna say title, that class list, that toggle. And that just means checked. If the class is there, you will add it. If the class is not there, you will remove it. That's it. Super, super simple. But hey, I had to teach you the other ways because I wanted you to learn and to do it. Now if we refresh, it is the exact same thing and it's done for us by JavaScript, okay? There it is. So this is doing all the stuff that you did before, that is what he's doing. He's inside of this toggle function, he's checking. If the class is there, add it. If it's not, remove it, all right? Looks like a pretty fucking good sexy code, okay? I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.